There's not much of a better feeling in this world than when the Lego yard sale gods smile upon you. And that's exactly what happened to me on our most recent community yard sale day. I was able to get everything that you see on the table beside me here. In fact, I shot a video of my whole day's experience. I edited down to about 20 minutes that's uploaded to my Greg's World vlog channel. If you're interested in seeing it all, but I know some of you just wanna see the Lego stuff. So for you, I made like a two minute video just showing me getting this stuff. And I thought it would be fun for today is I'll roll that little clip there that you can see me in the trenches getting all this Lego stuff. And then we'll come right back and I'll actually go through all of this and show you exactly what I got. And we can get into it a lot deeper than I was able to while I was out shopping. So enjoy the next two minutes and I'll be right back and we'll take a look at all this great stuff that I got. There's that kitty. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh. Yeah. Keep bringing them out. Awesome. Legos. If I can't pet the kitty, I will take some Lego. Ooh. Oh. That, you got your color. Yeah, I could use some of those. Oh, these are connects, aren't they? Yeah, some of them are. What's this Technic? Yeah, Technic. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I actually have that set in box. It's that's cool a, color. I'm gonna have fun just going through this. Um, would you do 15 on this? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you so much. Thank you. You made my day. Made my day. Very cool. You need that for your Legos. Yeah. <laughs> that is. That's amazing, dude. <laughs> How to get instantly happy with your yard sale day? Right there it is, baby. 15 bucks. I can't wait to go through that bag. Stay here, my precious. Okay. Five, three. I'd be 10 for all of it. Thank you so much. Somebody got them for my grandson. He just wasn't into the dots. He didn't like them. My son and I, we do a bunch of Lego stuff. Yeah. And uh, we just put them into our collection if we build something cool. Sometimes you need parts for it. All right. And then grab Marshall, honey. That's up my alley. I think I have this, but 75 parts for a dollar. Do that. Put those into the collection. Bright and colorful. Or Clark will probably take this and make a mech or something out of it. <laughs> You know how that kid is. Take an evil bunny. Probably. We're back in real time now with the goods. Hope you enjoyed that recap there. I saved you about 18 minutes of your life. But again, if you want to watch the whole thing, because I get some other great stuff too, including some games, my first gaming scores of the year, you can check that out. I'll link it down below or somewhere around here. We're going to start with this big box. This is the first thing that I found that day. And this is one that I, again, have to thank my father-in-law for because he was like, you got any Legos? And of course... They come out with them and they did just that with this. And this is one of those big 1500 piece collections. This is 11011. For all I know, I might already have this, but what I don't have or what I could always use because you can never have too much Lego is uh, all the parts that are inside, especially considering that I'm now getting into the world of trying to recreate older Lego sets and making mocks and Clark's always living that life these days. So it's always nice to have and I enjoy even sorting these days. It's, uh, I know I've really come a long way <laughs> in my, uh, my Lego collecting journey. Sorting became fun. It's, it's therapeutic really. Let me lay these all out so you can see all of the stuff that came out of here, all the bags. They're all still sealed. I'm really curious to know if they did anything with this. Did they just open this box up? And then they're like, yeah, it's, I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to leave it all in there and put it away. I don't know. But none of these are open. That'd be so hard for me as a kid. If I got this, I'd be like shredding these bags open faster than you can imagine. And I'd be building all kinds of things out of it. And that's kind of where I want to go back to as an adult. I want to get back into the creative side of things because, you know, it's fun building someone's ideas, but it's even more fun building your own, right? But here's everything that came out of here. Lots of bricks and things. And man, I could use that because as I mentioned in a recent video, I'm working on a, a sizable project here. And I might, I might even have to go back to my BrickLink order because I haven't made it yet. We did a little, a little traveling. Uh, so I might have some of these parts here that, that like I needed more of. I might be able to pull them from here and save a few pennies here and there on BrickLink just through this. Uh, so that was like the first part of this. And I paid $15, which you're probably thinking, Greg, you got ripped. Well, I'm not gonna open these now. I think we, we get the idea. What I really wanted out of this was this part. No, I'm kidding. That's, that's not even Lego. I wanted this. 
This bag was very intriguing to me. It's a whole grocery bag full of stuff. Lots of non-Lego, as you can see, and my mother-in-law so uh, rightly pointed out. She's a, she's a bit of an expert these days on Lego hunting. We got some Kinects in here too, which Clark and I, believe it or not, we do have a small Kinects collection uh, that I, th I think are fun. I had a few of these sets as a kid. And I remember playing with these quite a bit. It's, to me, it's not quite as good as Lego because you have to be a little, you have to kind of imagine what things are. Like that could be a, b a bicycle for all that, for all I know. But uh, yeah, they're, they're fun. I like the way they click together. Again, they, they're kind of uh, therapeutic in that regard. I find that like a lot of part of, a big part of this hobby is, is that for me. I'd like to go through this and sort it. And I thought it'd be fun to do it with you guys live. I don't know when that's going to be, but if it might even be later today when you're watching this video. It depends on how much time I have after I edit this. Uh, but be on the lookout for that. Turn notifications on. I don't typically tell people to do that. I don't tell people to like videos, none of that stuff, because you're not a monkey. You can do whatever you want. But if you want to catch this live while I'm going through it, it might be fun to do. And I'm just going to dump this. Or should we save it? Let's do that. Oh, I'm, I'm building the hype. I like to build the hype train. Let's save this for the very end because then I'll lead you into the... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm evil. Let's go into this dot collection. Again, some of you guys are probably like, Greg, dots? Really? Hey man, you never know what you could use in your, in your collection. Just like I was telling the lady, she said she got this for her grandson who wasn't into it. I understand. Uh, it's, it's an acquired taste. But you know what? Let me show you something here. I've got lots of, of parts here. Well, maybe not those, but those are kind of like dots. And then I've got more of these over here. Clark makes these really cool mosaics and things using these. And I was like, hey, why not? She wanted five for this. I think she wanted like three for that. And I don't even know if these had a price, but I offered her 10 for all of this. I feel if I went out into the store to buy this, not that I ever have, but I remember seeing this on, oh, there you go. She got it on clearance for a $32 on clearance. This was $15 on clearance. Maybe she got a percent off of that. I don't even know what store that might've been with a blue tag like that. But let's just assume that she paid 47 and maybe she paid a dollar. Oh, you can see it right there. She paid $3 for these. Ouch. She got taken to the cleaners on these. I kind of feel bad now. I mean, it was something that was just taking up space since her grandson wasn't into it. But man, she's got, she's got 60 bucks tied up into this and I gave her 10 for it back. But inside here, this is 41938 Creative Designer Box. If you're curious, maybe you have this. Maybe you, you never thought about getting it. Inside of it isn't just dots though. There are other parts as well. And we're going through all of this. All oh, those letters. I could totally use those. I can make another missing pieces thing, which if you still want to listen to, since I'm hyping up everything that I do, missing pieces still exists. It's just on Greg's World Podcast. It's a channel. You can search for it. Look at all this. Those aren't just dots. These, oh, this is, Clark's going to love this. As much as her grandson wasn't into it, Clark's going to go crazy with these things. We got that. Yeah. I didn't look at this too closely. I was just like, oh, Lego, must buy, must take. Here's where we get into like the, the actual dots. You know, you got lots of those. And they'll just go into the collection and maybe someday I'll, I'll build something that, that needs something like this. And there it is. And I got it way cheaper than you could find it on BrickLink. In fact, like just shipping this alone probably would have been almost what I paid for it. So that's why I really love finding yard sales because, you know, it's, it's great just going out, taking something that somebody had no use for anymore. And I'll find use for it. Even if the use is just kind of, <laughs> kind of sitting in here like this, waiting for the day that it becomes useful to you. It's nice to have, right? So that is that. I'll just leave that in there for now. So you so we don't make too much of a mess. Slide that aside. You guys want to see what's inside here too. I'm going to be parting all this out. Maybe I'll stream that too. I actually had this, this dream of streaming myself organizing, like never actually building things, just organizing. It would hold me accountable. I love that highlighter yellow color. Sick. Uh, but I need to do organizing. There's endless amounts of that need to be done. And if I just stream myself doing that for like an hour here and there, maybe every day, just think how much progress I could make. And maybe other people out there would get inspired too, to be like, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll, I'll sort some stuff with you, Greg. I'll get my collection out. We'll sort even if you don't have a lot. Heck, you could sort that, right? Everything can be sorted down. But here's all of our, our dots and um, lots of tiles and stuff in there that I could most certainly use. If you're curious about, oh, what's this? Doing everything one-handed now. For some reason, like I had my tripod here and I was like, oh, I'll put it on the tripod. Then I, I find myself 
<laughs> you know how it is, guys. You, you, maybe you don't, but I get right in there with it. We got all these letters here. I guess maybe how you can make these. Create your own designs. Oh, Clark made that already. We got that on clearance at Walmart, I think for cheaper than this was. And he made like a brick deck thing. In fact, I'll go get it. Please hold. This right here is what Clarkman made me as a celebration of our channel and what we do together. So you've got the Brick Tech logo there in the center, and then you've got the G and you've got the C for Greg and Clark. You've got a camera there, the little Brick Tech logos around the side. Uh, we got, uh, yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> it's cool. And I, this means a lot to me since he made that. So I was happy to have that. And this is an example of what I picture him doing with this as well. So. That's, that's pretty neat. I'll put this here, even though I didn't get that with this haul, I just wanted to show that off because I was proud of my little dude for making that. And that meant a lot to me that he did that. It's, it's like a Father's Day gift, man. So that's cool. These, just little dots packs, nothing to write home about. In fact, I think I, I, I might have bought one of these at like a dollar at Walmart or something like that. And again, she might have done that as well. Like the $3 you see on here, maybe everything was like half off of clearance. So she might have gotten everything for way cheaper than the the $60 or whatever that I calculated here. But $10 for that I think is pretty good, even if it is just dots. I, I know not the most popular theme among my audience here probably. I don't even know what that would be these days. It used to be like Star Wars and Ninjago. You guys loved all that stuff. I don't know what you're into these days. I've always been like a creator guy, and like a classic guy, but I think we're a, we're a dying breed, unfortunately. Uh, but that's, that's what I got in the dots world for $10. This thing you saw me get, I have this. I know I do now. Uh, this was a dollar, just for parts. This is 30583 Easter Bunny, 75 pieces. Just like I said in my little clip there, for a dollar, heck yeah. You know what, let's open this up, let's do it. I'm not even saving the bag, so you're about to see the most vicious poly bag rip that I've ever done on my channel. Usually I'm very careful. I take the scissors across the top there real nice and I save these and I put them in a bigger bag and put the pieces back inside. Not this time, my friend. Here's all of our parts for a dollar. Coming back in for the piece nerds. There's everything we got out of there for a dollar. Not bad. Again, if I were to order these on Bricklink, for example. Not that I'm hating on Bricklink. It's like my number one place this year to buy Lego. It's just the shipping kind of kills, you know? Like if I needed all these parts, if I was trying to make this, cost me five bucks just to get them shipped. So I, I always kind of think about that when I'm looking at something and I'm like, oh, a dollar? That's less than the shipping on BrickLink. Again, I love you, BrickLink, but there is, it became a BrickTech video. Do bags count for BrickTech videos? I'm gonna count it. So $1 worth of parts there. And uh, that's all my dots. And now we get into the thing that we really came here for. The thing that I was most excited about, and the reason that I was really willing to drop 15 bucks on that was everything that's inside here. We're just gonna give this a good dump out. Been waiting to do this since the day I got this. See what we're working with here. Oh my God. Piece just fell on the floor. It's actually, double brick tech video, let's go. So there's everything that's that's in there and I'm gonna bring you back down again so you can see it for the, the parts nerds. There is, there is something else in here too. Clark immediately saw this and he started making a mock out of it. <laughs> so. He couldn't resist. I actually have this right over here. And I was really excited to get this because what I want to do is build the Brick Tech Mobile, which I have a Subaru. And this is like perfect for that. And I've been planning to do that. And here we go. We got extra parts. So that was pretty cool. I paid like, I think like 16 bucks for that. So right there, boom. Uh, not all the parts are here. Clark went digging and uh, spoiler alert, he couldn't find everything that was needed for this car, but that's quite all right. Here's, here's everything. We even have a Hot Wheels in here. The front wheels are a little, a little off kiltered there, but a Hot Wheels was found. <laughs> we got a spring. Again, like when I look through this stuff, all the non-Lego stuff sticks out to me like a sore thumb. So I'm like, oh, we got connects. Oh, what's that thing? Another like connects like thing. And uh, there's plenty of non-Lego in here, but there are parts and I'm wondering, let's look at what they got over here. I'm wondering how much of this that you see here was in those bags there because it's a lot of bricks. Looks like they got into like the teals and blues. Looks like there might've been more of that because I'm seeing, a, I don't know if it's coming out to you or not, but I'm seeing like a lot of that as I look through here. I'm like, oh, there's blues, teals. They had a Technic set, a green Technic set. They obviously had lots of connects. They got a pullback. I'm wondering if this is that one car that we have 
we have something. Let me see if I can find it. It used to be over here, but then I like move things around. I have no idea these days. Maybe it was wishful thinking that I could find it. These are all like Clark's mocks. Uh, this is stuff that needs like parted out or sold or done something with. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a green dune buggy type thing. This is why you got to have your stuff organized, guys. Don't be like me. I found it. Clark Man modifying things. It was, uh, it used to be this, but Clark Man made his own thing. I don't know what that is, but it's, it's pretty darn cool. Anyways, back to the grind over here. I'm very excited to get into this. I'll move things around. So if you want to see this in this video, I'll do an update. I think I'm going to do the live stream where I go through all this and we'll just get all the non Lego out of there. I'll do an update video. It's going to be a, a shorty, but a goody, I guess <laughs> short and sweet. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll go through all of this in a stream. We'll chat. We'll have a good time, hopefully. And then I'll come back and be like, here's what was Lego here. What was not Lego. How'd I do for $15 overall? Let's get this out of here. Cause I didn't I didn't buy that. Overall, I spent $26 on everything that you see over here. And I think I did pretty good. I'm happy with that. That was a solid day out. I got a lot of other stuff too, some gaming things too. And that was a nice find. It was my first gaming finds of the year, but that's my Lego find for the community yard sale day. It was, I was happy with what I found. With that being said, it would have been great if the Lego yard sale gods have smiled even further upon me and I could have found some minifigs or some complete sets. But anytime you find Lego out in the wild is a good feeling. Even if it's stuff like this that I'm just gonna put into my collection for future things that I can make, that's exactly what I'm going for these days. So asking you shall receive. In fact, asking is exactly what's necessary because this would have never happened had my father-in-law not ask the ladies. So he's kind of like, he's my guy. I walk up and I just look and I run away. He's, he always asks and sometimes it pays out. So if you do go out yard selling, which I encourage you to do, cause it's a lot of fun. Even if you don't find anything, it's an adventure just going out. It's like a treasure hunt. Ask if people have Lego and sometimes you'll be surprised. A place that I went to to get this, all I saw there was like some creepy dolls. The cat that you saw in the video was the most interesting thing <laughs> that she had for me. And then all of a sudden these Lego stuff starts coming out and it, it makes my haul and it allows us all to have a good time here. So on that, that's my pitch to you to go out yard sailing. If you want to find some cool stuff, possibly at good prices, you can do it. And then you can have a lot of fun sorting it out in your collection. And uh, yeah, I'm still telling myself that it's fun sorting. It is, it is. Remember that <laughs> it's fun sorting. It definitely feels good when you're all done. And that's exactly what I hope to experience with this once I do it. So stay tuned for the live stream. I'll try to do it like ahead of time. We'll go through all this together and see what the heck's going on and what shouldn't be in here. And I'm excited for that. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me virtually while we went out yard sailing today and you got to see all of the cool stuff that came of it. Going out this Friday again for community yard sales. And these are the best ones of the year historically for me. So hopefully within a week's time or so I can make another one of these videos for you showing you even more cool stuff. On that, I hope you have a glorious rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.